about how to tell what men value okay in a woman the first thing that men attack when verbally attacking a woman like on a video on a post on Facebook or social media the first thing they attack on a woman is the first thing that they value on a woman okay so if you ever notice like in the comments down below in some of my videos You'll see these guys trolling and they'll be attacking me attacking women who comment the first thing they go for is usually appearance and a sexual organ the first thing that they really attack is the appearance of a woman and their uh sexual organ and they also attack the um the way that women expect things and the way that women are entitled. So, what do they value in a woman? Sex, appearance, and how she feels about herself, okay? The, her confidence. So, men are, men are very easy to, to, to read, y'all. They're like one of the most simple creatures on the planet. So, when you see these trolls, don't look at their comments as negative. Read between the lines because this is what teaches you. Um, this is why I don't mind trolls. I don't care if people insult me because it just shows me their weakness. It just shows me what they're really saying, you know. They say a woman will always expose a man's weakness. Okay? And that's just so true. When a man gets upset, especially when it has to do with women, they will be exposed for their weaknesses. And if you look on social media, on the news, you'll see all these men getting in trouble and most of the time it's behind women, okay? We already know that. And when it gets out into the open and secrets fly out of the closet, their weaknesses are exposed. Because we all know that men can talk and act a certain way, but when it comes down to it, there's always a woman in the background. Okay, there's always some woman that is their weakness. Okay, so we know that. So ladies, when men talk about appearance, this is a clue. It's, you need to look beyond presentable when you step out of your house anytime. I don't care if you're going to the grocery store, to the bank, because you never know who you're going to meet. Okay, this is what I teach my girls. I say, always look your best when you leave the house. Okay, I don't care where you're going, look decent at least. Okay, put on perfume, have lotion. Um, at least a little bit of makeup doesn't matter but don't go around in your house shoes and robes and, and stuff on your head okay and don't look like you rolled out of the bed because no one respects a woman like that and they treat you like trash the next time they see you even if you're dressed okay always be presentable because men will only treat you how you treat yourself okay um and the the more and i know a lot of ladies can't afford can't afford certain things right now but always um, look your best smell your best and try to you know be dressed nice and stuff like that when you do go somewhere even if it's just to the store and I say this because men do look at women and they see you somewhere else or they'll or you know some men will approach you when you're looking your best. Some men will try to approach you when you're looking your worst. You ever wonder why men approach women when they look their worst? Because they don't think that they have high standards. They think they're easy to please. They think they'll accept anything. This is why a lot of women get hit on when they look like, you know, hair all messy and like sweats and stuff like that. 
they get approached like that because men aren't intimidated by that. Men don't have to live up to anything when they are, you know, not intimidated. So, of course, those women are those women are going to get like, hey, you want to chill? You want to come over my house? I have Netflix. That's the kind of approach they're going to get sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But if you have a woman dressed really nice, has her stuff together, smells good, hair, nails, blah, 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 they're going to get high when you, can I take you out to dinner sometime? You know, they're going to get the good treatment. So, um, most ladies have invested in a nice perfume. Um, most ladies have invested in uh, a nice lotion, like Bath and Body Works. Most women have a nice lipstick, makeup, whatever. And you all know these things are expensive, so you're not going to waste them on trying to impress a broke man, okay? This doesn't make no sense. So, y'all, and then the second thing that men really attack is the sexual organs. You know, they go, well, you know, they're concerned with how many men you've been with. Why? Because they're intimidated. They're intimidated that you have been with men who are better than them, bigger than them, and probably more experienced so they attack that because they feel like they're not going to be able to please you and live up to your standards sexually okay so knowing this they're already intimidating this is why they attack it because uh, <laughs> most men that are you know well endowed and have their stuff together are not on these videos trolling okay they're just not they don't have women problems like that okay so these, this is why they attack your sexual organ because they're intimidated by it. And the third thing that they attack is that you're a parasite or you don't want to do things for yourself and you're lazy, which is exactly what they are because they can't afford to even take you to dinner or pay any of your bills if you were to get together. They can't afford to pay the whole rent. They're, they got the handout. So really, who's the parasite? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I thought. So read between the lines, lady, when you're when you're insulted. Read between the lines. The first thing they attack is the first thing they value. Okay. Um, so psychologically, men give themselves away too easy. That's why they're so easy to figure out. Women, you have to women are very mysterious. Like the first thing a woman will attack on a man is their brokenness, right? But or their lack of maturity. Okay, so what do we value? Men should men should be able to understand now that I've given them the pattern. So yes, women women value stability. Women value uh, kindness. Women value values in a man. Loyalty, trust. Okay, and I know you're going to say, well, why do they go for the bad boys? Why do they go for the bad boys if they value money and value this and value that? Well, women have a thing like. Um, with seeing potential in a man. They they like to see the best in people, okay? Until they're missed over. Then they don't see the best in people anymore. They'll go for the bad boy a few times, and then when they realize that there's nothing there and he can't get his stuff together, they'll be like, okay, I learned my lesson. Okay, now let me put, instead of, you know, attraction and love, let me go ahead and put financial stability in front of that because... I don't want to struggle no more, you know. So then they start putting their priorities in a different order. Once they have learned that certain men aren't going to do certain things. Okay, so now that the woman has her priorities in that order where she values financial stability, then that's where she's going to attack when she talks about guys. Then she's going to talk about how broke they are. And then she's going to talk about how... Um, they don't stay with their kids, so they value a good father. They value stability, and what else? Is, what else do women talk about with men? Um, let's see. Uh, uneducated, they value education. Um, you know, making time for you. They, you know, they they value these things. So when a woman complains, listen, read between the lines. This is what she wants. This is what she values. Whatever she's complaining about, that's what she values in a man. And men, listen to women. Whatever, whenever, you know, I mean, ladies listen to men when they attack you or talk about women or complain about women. This is what they value. So never let them fool you, okay? They might talk about you underneath your clothes. They may talk about you sexually. They may talk about your appearance.
because that's what they value okay no one's gonna talk about something that doesn't matter to them okay now so whenever I get a um, whenever I get a troll insulting me I, I take it as a compliment you know it's like oh okay you're looking at me you're analyzing my looks okay um, oh, okay. You're thinking about what's beneath my clothes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me to bring something to the table because you want me to bring something to the table because you can't bring it all. Okay. And now you're looking at me like I can do more than you financially. Okay. So now you're looking at me and you're putting me on a pedestal. You're actually worshiping me by insulting me, you know? So that's why I don't really get offended by it because y'all just telling me what y'all value in me so thank you anyway i already know that that's why i make these videos and i'm trying to teach these other ladies that so whenever you get one of them crazy guys in your inbox trying to get you to go do this and do that and you give them your standards and your rules and they get mad and go flip out and tell you all these crazy things you know what they value okay and they're the only thing that the only reason they're gonna say um, those negative things is because they wanted those things from you okay they, they liked those things about you at first and now they don't because you're not gonna give them what they want okay so it's just like a you know it's just like a mean child it's like the first thing that they attack is uh, like when they bully another kid is something like oh well you know you're a big stupid head oh oh but then they were trying to be their best friend two seconds ago right Okay, you know that. So anyway, ladies, I hope that this video helped y'all. I hope it helps you understand, especially when you argue with a man or you go back and forth with a man. Listen to what they're not saying. It's what they really mean. Read between the lines. The first thing they attack is the first thing that they value on you. Okay? Because they're trying to hurt you. And they're trying to also convince themselves at the same time that you're not all that. But really, what they're saying is... I value these things in you so I'm going to put them down so you don't feel good about yourself so you can stay with me or so that you can feel dumb for not agreeing with me or something stupid like that but we all we all know it's simple psychology y'all um, so if y'all have any questions or a video topics that I should cover in the next year or a different type of video you want to see me do because I don't always have to do relationship videos. I can do whatever. Y'all know I have lots of range. <laughs> um, so let me know what y'all want on this channel for 2016 and I can try to do it, you know. Um, question answers. Um, I don't know, I might do a lot. I'm sorry, I'm putting on my lotion. I might do a live streaming on YouTube where you can ask me questions or somebody can sit and talk to me um, or something like that. I don't know. Just let me know what y'all want in the comments because, you know, I want y'all to be happy with what I'm putting out as well. You know, it's not all about what I think you should know. You know, you ask. I would like more questions and I could just do like a question video that um, is like, really popular or maybe many people ask the question the same type of question over and over and I know I know it's like around Christmas time everybody's trying to get love readings everybody's trying to get love readings because they either feel lonely disappointed abandoned this time of year by who they thought that they were with this is the time of year lots of side chicks find out their side chicks <laughs> like you might not have known you might have just thought now you know like, I'm not calling you back around the holiday mm -hmm. <laughs> it is side chick season okay I think they had this funny meme on Facebook and it said December 26th uh, Christmas for side chicks <laughs> uh, so sad but um, hey if you're a side chick don't worry about it most women have been side chicks before and they have figured their way out of it okay so don't be mad uh, this is a learning lesson okay don't pay attention to words Pay attention to actions and clues, okay? Men do, men are not honest. They never have been, and they never will be. So don't ever believe no man. I don't care what they tell you. Always double check it. Okay, that's what my mom taught me. My mom double checks my stepdad every day, and she's been married to him for 20 years. 
and he has never cheated on her or anything but she's just crazy like that okay <laughs> now this is me her other husbands have it like my mom been married a lot of times y'all uh, before me before me and that doesn't mean her other husband didn't do her wrong which is probably why she checks up on this husband and keeps him in check in line you know so remember you know the longer you're with someone the more your trust builds you know but never let let your guard down you always got to double check every now and then every now and then every now and then you just got to do it just to make sure and you know just to make sure okay <laughs> make sure everything's going kosher right so I will end this video and I'll see y'all later thumbs up if you agree and check out my uh, latest video if you have it and I'll see y'all later okay oh and if you want to write me personally like if you don't want to write me in the comments um, I'll put my email below or you can write me on the uh, message section on YouTube or Google okay I'll see you later. Bye.